Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So today, I'm going to go take one more look for patches. I may have bugged this quest line, actually. I looked it up by uh, walking over those raptors before I talked to him. So he might not appear there. He might instead appear at Firelink Shrine, which... That would be a problem. So I'm going to take a quick look, see if he's there. If not... Well, then I guess I'll just go to Firelink Shrine, because I did talk to Siegward. Or maybe I'll talk to Siegward again, double check and make sure that's not the issue. And then I'll check for patches one more time. Because I think we want those raptors, so he should spawn on the other side of the bridge where the uh, leech man is. Or wherever the hell those things are. Yeah, my frame rate is still shit if I look out that door. Why is it only this, this area? Like, I really can't figure this shit out. Patches, are you here? I don't see him, so... I'm guessing no. Okay. Also, these guys that dropped from the ceiling shouldn't be here if Patches was here. Huh. Oh well. Guess I'll have to go back to the air bonfire. That sucks. May as well take the uh, doorway down there. It'd probably be the best way about this. And I really kind of hope I don't get invaded over here because, my god. Like, this area. If he runs outside, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> like, my frame rate will shit the bed and then I'll be disconnected from online play. And that's not what I want, so... Okay. Go for here... <laughs> Let's speak with Stigward one more time, see if that somehow fixes it. Because the one fix that should have worked, if it was going to work, was uh, closing and reopening the game. Because this area actually needs to be reloaded for uh, some of Patch's stuff to work in this area. Okay. So we'll go over here. We'll talk to Stigward. Just one more time, make sure. Make sure I've done everything right. I'm in quite a pickle indeed. Maybe I can fashion a replacement for uh, he's just repeating himself. Okay, well I've talked to him. So, in any case, I think I'm just going to go back to the shrine, use these souls, I have an on-net bone shard, I'll use that too. And then I'll go to Rosaria's bedchamber and see if Patches is there. If not, we'll just progress the story and uh, hope for the best. Or actually, there's a chance Patches could have spawned in Firelink, but because I've already done the tower... Uh, no patches would be on the upper floors if he is here. I'm not sure where. Never actually looked it up, so I just know that's a thing that he can do. So I'll give it a look. Not sure which side he'd spawn on. He'd probably spawn over there, but I'm gonna check up here first just in case. Uh, this looks pretty empty. Oh yeah, that's right, I totally freaking missed an item up there, I think. Let me just double check and see if I have it. I don't, I definitely missed an item up there, so we're gonna go up to the roof regardless. As my frame rate drops to 11... What, what's happening? Game? <laughs> like, I thought we fixed this issue, game. What are you doing? Like, don't start this shit now. Patches, you out here? 
Hey, see the Vitria Giants. I probably should check that earlier. Get killed by enough invaders and you get free shit. So I'll check out this tower and see if Patches is even here. Seriously, though, he is. My frame rate is randomly dying. What is happening? Like, it wasn't this bad last session. So I'm really not sure what the hell is happening. Oh well. Really? Like, I know it's usually bad if I look that way, so I'm just gonna look at the ground here, but... My god. It's down to like 15. For a while it was 10. Why is it so bad right now? Like, I literally had fixed this issue. Why, why did you, like, undo the fix? Like, what is happening? So anyways, I missed the over here. Hey, look. This entire thing was an invisible wall. I don't know how I missed it. Well, I do know how I missed it. It's because my first time through, I was still using A to check for secret walls instead of using the weapon. Because I'm so used to Dark Souls 2, but... I never actually went back and checked areas I'd previously looked at. Aha, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were no ordinary man. Yay, applause. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria. Of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> Not happening, buddy. That would actually kind of fuck up a quest line, I think. Not sure, but I'm not gonna risk it. Are you the guy I think you are? Why, yes, you are. You don't have much to say, do you, buddy? Oh, and we need to We spoke before on the Road of Sacrifices. Andri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. So that's where we're going. Aldrich's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city is beyond sunk. Keep. All right, beat yourself all you want, but you won't learn anything else from that. So, I wonder if the other night guys around. I don't see him, so I'm gonna guess no. But then again, I haven't taught her any dark... Or I haven't learned any miracles from her that are dark yet. Which I did look it up to see if I did fuck up her quest line. Turns out I did not fuck up the Faith Girl's quest line yet. If I do want to not have uh, the whole event happen. What actually triggers it is learning any dark miracles. Which I haven't done yet, because I probably won't be learning any miracles. But then I found out that there's a good end to her quest line, where if you buy all the light miracles, a thing happens. So I might go for that. Who knows? Let's see, do you go anywhere yet? Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Uh, can't send you anywhere yet. Alright. What do you sell again? Bunch of garbage. Goodbye. Oh, this place. <laughs> so Patches isn't here. That's bad. Because talking to Siegward should make him spawn in Firelink. Should <laughs> is the key word here. Fuck. Yeah, I may have bugged the whole goddamn quest line just by going across those damn narrow passageways on the roof. If that's the case, well then fuck me. 
because I kind of need one of those two to uh, be alive. It's kind of important, actually. Patches, you here? No? Fuck me. Well then. I'll give it one more look at the error area. If I don't see patches there, this quest line is beyond fucked and we're just gonna progress. That's a damn shame, because I really wanted to do some of the Grey Rat side stuff, but oh well. Can't get what you want. I have an undead bone shard. Do I have an Asta shard? I do not. Do I have ashes on me? I don't. But yeah, I could check out those souls, but uh, I think it's all magic stuff and like a chime or something. Or no, it's a catalyst, it's also a sword. Not interested. Level, don't I? Alright. Welcome home, speak. Very well, then take it. Okay, so I do have 20 endurance. <clears throat> I think I'm fine on vitality for now. What I probably want more than anything right now is our more strength for another level next. I'm gonna go with strength. I do want to try some strength weapons this build. Farewell, I've made a flame. Now, the other thing that I've learned through looking stuff up online, Henri's quest line, which I double check just to make sure I don't screw anything up, turns out there's two potential endings, and going for the hidden ending in the game voids the uh, good end of her quest line. So that sucks. So we're not going to see both, but. I will go for the uh, secret ending, just because I haven't seen it yet. To be honest, the only ending I have seen is the end of fire, and it was the lame version of that one. The lame version where you don't do the thing after you talk to the firekeeper. Oh well. I'll have to look up the non-lame version. Or just beat the game again on my other character. Which I don't really plan to do. Oh yeah, I was gonna check Cathedral Deep. Oh well, I'll do that later. But now I'll give the Swamp a uh, once-over. Get pretty much every item I didn't get. Oh, I am bad at swinging. There. Seems like I can give any souls. I don't know why I'm bothering. All that for a shard. Okay. Don't really think there's too much in this particular part of the swamp that I've missed. <clears throat> I still have to go up the uh, Watchdog of Farron. Yeah, I should really do that. First, I'm going to just give this area a once-over real quick. I know I've missed stuff. I'll take a look. I'll do some of the stuff I missed. Three hits now. That's all I want. A little bit of health. We're all good. Oh, there's a guy there. No, he's around this corner. And my restore, my restorative ran out. Oh well. Okay, I do have poison moss clumps on me. God damn it. We'll do this for now. This is really the only area in the game I'm going to have to worry about poison so much. And it's not that big of a deal. Thankfully. <laughs> Alright, so I believe that way is the next thing. I see I am behind or in front. Now I know there's deeper water that way. Huh. I remember where this item is. 
I might actually just look up the map of this area because uh, I don't particularly want to navigate the poison swamp and go to places I really don't need to be because this area sucks. Alright, let's just give this a look. Give her a look. Alright. Burn keep. I know there's a map for this area. I just want to take a glance at the map and I'll know exactly where I am and where I need to go. There's the map. Here's where I am. Okay, I'm at the completely wrong end of the map for what I wanted. No, I need to go to the air. What's number 11? Okay, good. I don't need to do that. Okay. All right, yeah, I know where I am. Yeah, it should be good. And there's a short grass over there. Okay. Okay, got that, got that. Yep, I know where I'm going. And what's 14? A reference to Dark Souls 2 is what that is. Okay, so I'm going for that, and I'm going for... Okay. We're all good. We're all good. I know exactly where I'm going. It'd probably be faster to just use the bonfire. There's a ton of items in the swamp, and... But you know, two of them are actually even worth my time. Yeah, this guy's an asshole. I played that really poorly, but whatever. I'll take the heel of shame. Alright. So I thought the item I wanted was closer to here. It's actually up and around here. It's a good thing I did look that, because I would have been walking through poison and probably going slow for no reason. Now the item I want is over there somewhere. But you know what? Maybe I'll drop off right around here. Actually, how high is this? Not quite sure. It's not high enough to kill me, I know that for a fact. Can I actually not jump over this? Well, it actually does not want you taking shortcuts, okay. Fine. Go around the long way. Okay, so these guys aren't what I want. No, if anything, I actually want to avoid them. I'm not too worried about being poisoned because I don't plan on dying here. Okay, so what I want is on the other side of these guys. It's right over here. One of the things, anyway. There's a few things I need to get in this area. So yeah, this is a giant trap. Got him. And say just scroll, that's one of the things I want. Alright. So if I run around the air side, I should get to this bonfire fairly quickly. And dog. Uh, Yeah, so far so good. There's a few other items over there that aren't really worth my time, so I won't worry about them too much. Titanite shards. Okay, there's the door. I need one more thing before I can go through there. But for now, let's just take a quick rest. Heal this poison. Hopefully not aggro these enemies as I rest at this bonfire.
Do that. And we should be good. Okay, so I need to go that way. Problem is the sludge hits deep right around here. So we went up this ladder a couple recording sessions ago and I never actually finished exploring up there. And I'm not going to do that today. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll around this corner, pick this up, because I missed that. And here's our Estes soup. Don't need it right now. I will right, we'll take the Sunlight Talisman, which is basically a sign that Seagward was in the area. Now where I need to get is right over there. Problem is going to be getting over there. This area sucks. There's the tree things, it's bad. So let's go around it. And some of you might be wondering, well, what do you mean go around it? You'll see. Going around it is actually probably tougher than dealing with those tree things. But because of my level, I don't feel confident. So there's one over there. There's one over there. I think there's actually another one over there too behind that tree. This area is shit. So I should steal these leeches in case one of these tree things aggroes me. Which is probably going to happen. There's no way I'm going to get past this area without aggroing one. Okay, he hasn't aggroed yet. Oh god, yes. These. These are the problem of this area. Oh god, there he is. And I got invaded for my trouble. Yeah, this isn't happening. So this is the problem with this area. I still have a Mr. Curse over here. And I'm dead. So I killed those things for no reason. That's why this area sucks. I just wanted to hit him once and instead I got hit by that guy because I fucking missed too many times. Oh, that blows. I'm used to using a spear on my other character now, so... My sense of uh, distance is all kinds of fucked up from that. Yeah, this area fucking blows. I don't even care, honestly, about losing the Ember form. This is going to prevent me from getting invaded by that guy again. But it is an NPC invader, and I do want to fight him eventually. Okay, so what we're going to do this time is... Uh, fight him over here where I can walk. There was that. I guess you can totally get killed after you've killed people in this game because, you know, Dark Souls, it's fun. So there's my souls. Alright. Hopefully this time I play a little bit better than what I did. 
Okay, we'll go around this way since this is apparently shallow. Yeah, the deep stuff is where the plants are. And that's really why I should be paying attention to. See, if I bought them over here, I'd probably have been fine. So let's see if I can lure out some of these cursed bastards. Because I know they're all around here. All right, there they are. Hello. Okay, three down. Four. All right. That's much easier. Okay, so four of them. Thankfully, cursing this game isn't as bad as every other game, but... We have a golden scroll, and we have a chest. Antiquated dress. There, there's your uh, Dark Souls 1 reference of the day. Reference to Dusk of Ula Seal, if I remember correctly. Hey, buddy. Okay. So far, so good. I'm only slightly cursed. Shall we store Ember now or wait? Because I kind of want to deal with that invader, but... I kind of don't at the same time. So yeah, there's all kinds of these uh, cursed guys around here. And I am up there. For now though, let's just do what we came to do. I took the back road to this place. Which in my last opinion is probably a little bit easy from the front door. I almost got killed. And he's done. Okay, so that was a tough part. Homeward Bone, because the game knows. And surprisingly enough, there's nothing else up here. So let's just extinguish the flame and open the door to the wolf's blood. We'll actually watch this cutscene this time. Alright, so I think I pretty much wrapped up everything I wanted to do in the Poison Swamp. There's a lot more items around, but they're all minor useless items. I've gotten the two scrolls, I got the coral earlier, I got the Estus Shard already, got the Bone Shard. So, really it was just the two scrolls I hadn't gotten yet, so now that those are out of the way, I can pretty much safely say I'm done with this area. Like, the only part I need to do is uh, explore past the uh, old Wolf of Farron. Let's not go this way. No, there's two tree guys over there, and they're a pain in the ass to deal with in the deep water. That's not happening. No, in fact, I should just homeward bone. Matter of fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Homeward Bone. Because, you know... Why should I go through that? That's that's not going to be fun, going back through the swamp and getting poisoned again. Especially because there's not a lot of land to walk on between to avoid being poisoned. So yeah, 